In the realm of children's literature, the responsibility to portray diverse cultures accurately is paramount. The recent controversy surrounding Jamie Oliver's children's book, Billy and the Epic Escape, serves as a glaring reminder of the sensitivities involved in storytelling, especially regarding marginalized communities. At the core of the backlash is the character of Ruby, an aboriginal girl imbued with mystical powers. While fantasy can spark imagination, critics argue that reducing indigenous identity to mere magical abilities oversimplifies the rich tapestry of aboriginal cultures. This simplistic portrayal risks creating a homogenized view of indigenous peoples, obscuring the depth and diversity of their belief systems. The plot surrounding Ruby's abduction from her home resonated painfully with the dark history of the stolen generations in Australia. For many indigenous Australians, this representation feels like a trivialization of a grim chapter that saw thousands of children forcibly removed from their families. Community leaders have voiced their concerns, asserting that such narratives can perpetuate misunderstanding rather than foster respect and empathy. Language accuracy is another critical issue that arose from the book. With Ruby hailing from Mpantwe, Alice Springs, yet utilizing Gamalare vocabulary from a different region, the disconnect exemplifies a failure to honor the rich linguistic diversity within indigenous Australian cultures. Language is not only a form of communication, it is a vessel for cultural identity and tradition, and misrepresenting it can lead to further alienation. In light of the criticism, Jamie Oliver has publicly apologized and decided to withdraw the book from circulation, demonstrating a willingness to learn from the missteps. His acknowledgement of an editorial oversight and not consulting with indigenous representatives reflects the necessity for collaboration when telling stories outside one's own experience. The cautionary tale of Billy and the Epic Escape sheds light on the broader need for vigilance in representing indigenous narratives as society continues to grapple with the legacies of colonialism. The stories shared with young readers must be rooted in authenticity, fostering an environment of respect and understanding. The swift response from Penguin Random House UK and the praise from indigenous leaders highlight a crucial step towards rectifying past errors and ensuring that future works uphold cultural integrity.